Just like one colored rainbows make absolutely no sense in our environment, one colored voices make no sense in music. So what we try and do here at the lab and in my research is to try and give choirs and singers more color and more harmonic activity in their sounds. And here we can test it in a spectrogram. I beautiful soulful sound in a singer's technique. So this is a 3D representation of how much upper harmonic activity is in a choir sound before we've worked uh, on vibration and, and resonance in choral singing and after we've worked on bel canto principles. So there's quite a bit more activity in this after than before. One of the things that we can also work on in the vocal acoustics lab here is improving accents and especially vowel pronunciation of anglophones who are trying to speak French. And we can have them play games like this with their vowels. Oh, ee, oh, ee, where you see the harmonic structure changing of their vowels and they can try and model the correct pattern. Oh, ee, oh, ee, oh. So one of the other fun things I'm working on in the lab, I came across totally by accident, which I call ingressive vocal fry. And it has the potential of helping basses, particularly in choir singing, to sing an octave or more below what they would normally be able to sing um, in a choir, which could be very helpful for Russian music and for certain types of repertoire. So um, it's a bit of a weird sound, but here we go. So it can help to sing actually right to the bottom of a piano, which uh, is a fun party trick, but also helps uh, to bring about new possibilities in repertoire and helps choirs to sound much fuller as well, because that enlivens the sound of the choir.